Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark friends in our Telix drive encryption series today i am going to demonstrate a recovery process and in which we are going to cover DTEC recovery process and specific to this video we will see how exactly DTEC you know bootable uh, usb can be configured which you can use in recovering Telix drive encryption let me tell you why it's important guys sometime you know in windows environment it happens your os gets corrupted due to some windows patches or any uh, third party application or for any reason there are n number of reasons as well as sometimes there is a hardware problem or sometimes your drive encryption you know uh, software itself get malfunction so in that situation you will not be able to log in into your laptop or desktop which eventually will lead to lose the access of your data and at that time the people get you know uh, very scared because they don't know how exactly you know they will get uh, the data access back and few people who don't have you know deeper understanding of drive encryption functionality they directly send this uh, their hard disk to the staler for the recovery and the staler charges very large amount of money so in this video we will going to learn how exactly those things can be configured so for that let me log into the epo console so that i can you know give you the basic idea so here is my admin user and guys very first if i directly go into the system tree then here is my system t1 to is the policy which is assigned is product setting technical spark encryption so let's open that and under the encryption if you check out then currently my encryption type is or let's say provider is selected as a pc opal you can see this is at the top so in your situation it could be different like pc software or pc uh, opal is completely dependent on your configuration additionally if i go to the system if i and then let's open that system and then go to the drive encryption here as you could see currently my drive encryption is activate on this t1 machine t1 is my host name okay and let's click on more and the firmware type okay is configured as a efi which means uefi okay so based on that only we are going to create our recovery bootable image so that with the help of that we can able to recover or decrypt the data and once the data is decrypted uh, irrespective of your os is crash or whatever the reason you can simply connect that hard disk to another pc and get the data back as a secondary hard disk okay guys so don't make a mistake on that part so hopefully things are clear about the basic uh, you know understanding when to use this and if i go to the download then just for your information i have downloaded Trellix drive encryption uh, entire setup as well as EETEC code okay and inside the Trellix drive encryption uh, setup uh, this is the very important component which is EETEC so this is what we are going to use here so to you know create the bootable disk let's go to our one of the client machine and guys here are the both the things which I have copied into this my client machine where we are going to create this bootable disk and for that I have one pen drive or let's say flash memory you know available here that is usb drive as a EF. now guys before i show you practically how exactly the this configuration we have to do one small intro video welcome back guys now let's open our uh, this EDEC folder and here is a standalone folder now let's let me just copy this folder to the desktop so that I can easily able to access the data this all folder you will get when you download the actual Trellix time encryption software okay so all data is available inside that here it is these are the you know few of the things which is available inside this standalone folder now guys as you could see my pen drive is already connected or let's say flash memory so let me you know search here for the cmd and we'll open cmd with administrative privilege and here is my cmd is open now guys we'll have to run one command that is format then our uh, usb volume drive so that is f colon and this is the further command which is space forward slash fs colon fat 32 space forward slash v colon e tech and hit enter press any key when you are ready the file system has been changed to my f drive and now let's wait for this particular process to get complete okay guys let's not make too much hurry 
so that things will be done very perfectly so far it's just a one percent is completed so let's wait my flash drive is very old and it's working very slowly so i guess i have to wait for a very decent amount of time for this process to get complete Uh, friends our format is about to complete it has completed 99% and let's wait for one more quick percent and that's done initializing the file system allocation table and our drive is ready as you could see uh, this particular drive also has been renamed earlier it was USB drive so it has got, uh, the name is got changed as per this etech right and there is no data inside this is completely format now let's open the our usb drive and here we'll have to create two directories very first directory name will be efi let me give it that efi enter and inside that we'll have to create one more folder or it's a directory both and done and guys now we'll have to copy these two file one is this is for the 64 uh, bit and this is for the 32 bit eptech efi dot efi so let's copy both the file into the this boot folder so paste it here and if in case if you want just a 64 bit then you just have to copy this file and just for the 32 bit you can copy the second file so it's completely up to you whether you need this particular uh, bootable uh, pen drive or flash drive for 32 bit as well as 64 bit or just for the 64 bit or 32 bit so you can you know, copy the file accordingly but in my case i need both now guys we'll have to rename this particular file okay so let me rename it to boot ia32 and for 64 bit let's again click on rename and we'll give this name as a boot x64 and we are done our dtech bootable drive has been created there is no further configuration is required now you can simply close all the you know uh, command prompt explorer and run this particular usb drive bootable usb drive on your affected machine and if in case if you don't know how to run that particular exe then you know just check out my uh, next video or you can just click on the i button at upper right corner where i have already explained how exactly this thing can you know uh, work or how we can do the recovery and same link is available in the description as well and as always if you found this video useful then please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe this is so signing out i'll catch you in the next amazing video till then bye bye